and giving you a live look right now at Petropolis in St. Charles. During this pandemic, many of us have enjoyed the companionship of our furry friends. And now that many of us are going back to our workplaces, your dog might need a nice new place to hang out so they're not lonely. Fox 2's Catherine Hessel was in St. Charles for the grand opening of a second Petropolis today. Their website describes it as a resort for pets. And I mean, look at it. Could they be any happier here? They have pools and ponds and rocks and, and sometimes even bridges for the dogs to play on. And while they're living it up, what they don't realize is that the staff here is working on what they call pet empowerment with them. Now here at Petropolis, they offer lodging, daycare, grooming, training, and they have a trade school. President and veterinarian Dr. Paul Schifano says that through all of those services, they work on pet empowerment, which is giving the animals control and confidence in what they do. He says it's similar to the idea that parents want to raise their kids to make their own decisions and hopefully the right one. And that's exactly what they're working on with dogs. So they work on the dog's ability to say yes and how they should say no. We have a dog that's going to play out in the water park. Uh, our goal is that that dog be given the opportunity to say yes. If the dog says no, uh, we're not going to pick them up and throw them in the water. We're not going to push them in it. We're not going to splash water in their face. That may work sometimes, but oftentimes it causes fear, it causes phobia, where dogs would never, ever want to play in the water. Instead, what we do is we encourage them. So we create an environment here where the dogs are enticed to go in the water. A lot of times, just because other dogs are playing in the water, doing the same thing, but it might be that we're on the other side of a stream taking some chicken and getting the animal just challenged to walk across the water to get in it. Uh, so we, we have an environment where we're challenging them to make the right yes decisions. Uh, we're limiting what they are because there are some things they shouldn't be saying yes to. They shouldn't be running in traffic. Uh, but we're also making sure that they never say no. And, and the result of that is a dog that is much less fearful. And done properly, we can take a dog that's fearful, maybe an older dog, and turn them into a more empowered, confident, and happy pet. So obviously there's a lot of playtime here. And also, again, what the pets don't know is that there's a lot of learning going on as well. And if you drop your dog off for a daycare, you'll get a pup card, which is a photo of an update of what they're doing during the day. And they've also heard that there is a foam party planned for the pups. And based on how much these dogs love water, I think they're pretty excited about it. Reporting in St. Charles, I'm Katherine Hessel.